Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and this week I'm going to show you how to make another simple card using a punched shape. And this time I have a circle punch. This punch is almost a one inch circle. You could use a quarter or a nickel or something and just trace around it and cut them out too if you would like to do that. And I'm going to use a striped paper and also some yellow cardstock. This cardstock was 8 inches by 8 inches, and then I just scored it in half. So this would also fit in a business-sized envelope if you wanted to put it in the mail. And I will also need some green ink. I'm going to use peeled paint distress ink. And for this card, you'd want one little simple touch to it. You could use a flower like this. I layered a flower that has the same colors as this paper, or I could just grab a nice sticker. I thought I might use this one. It says Happy Spring on it. I just got this at a dollar store. They often have a lot of nice little stickers to use on your project. So I grabbed that and I'm going to need some glue to put my punched circles on. I'm going to need 18 circles. So I will go ahead and get the 18 circles punched out and I will be right back. I have my 18 circles punched out and now I'm going to take my peeled paint distress ink and I'm going to grab my card and just run each edge right into the ink pad. You can see it has a very slight green edge on there and that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to go around all the edges of the card and I'm also going to do the same thing with my circles. Just take each circle and just rub it right along the ink pad. See if you can see that there. Now we have a nice green edge so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up all the sides of my cards and all the edges of my circles. Okay I got all my little circles and my card inked. I wanted to show you something really quick. Don't worry if you get some ink onto the circles and not just on the edges because it kind of adds a nice little grungy touch to it. So that's perfectly fine. I have about probably half my circles I made sure I got a little bit of ink on the circle also and about half of them just right around the edges so next step is to get them on the card and hopefully I'll get them on here straight but we're gonna put six in a row just use whatever kind of glue you like to use and with the stripes, you're going to want to vary the directions just a little bit so it doesn't have a uniform look. If you can see here, I'm trying to get some up, up and down and some sideways. So we're going to have six across, and then we're going to make three rows in all. So I'm going to turn off the camera and get mine put on. But I just wanted to show you how I'll have them laid out. Just make sure you have a little edge on the top and bottom and on each side. So I will go ahead and get these glued in place and I will be right back. That was so simple. I got my circles on the front of my card and I actually changed my mind. I was going to use the sticker for the front of the card but it just blends in too much for my taste. So. What I did was put my little flowers together with a brad, and then I decided to grab this huge flower, and I folded it in half, and just punched another little circle in it. I'm just going to stick my brad right through there. This is going to stand out a whole lot more. So it's like that. Fold my prongs back. Then I'm going to grab a zot on the back and just put that on my card instead. That really stands out nice. So sorry about that, changed my mind right at the last minute, but I kind of like the look of this better. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy trying this card.